Hi all, and welcome to Earth Science 1100. Uh, my name is Joe and I'll be the head TA for the lab portion of this course this semester. The purpose of this video is just to go through the hybrid lab syllabus briefly and point out some of the key parts. If you are in the 100% virtual option of this course, uh, please refer to the virtual syllabus in the corresponding video. You do not need to watch this one. This semester, you will complete 11 labs. Given the capacity of our lab room and the current circumstances surrounding COVID-19, each lab section will be broken into an alternating structure. Uh, this means that starting week four, you will have in-person labs every other week until Thanksgiving break. Weeks that you are not in person, you will complete a virtual lab. Uh, please see the schedule below on page four uh, for the exact lab schedule, and I'll step through this uh, a little bit and towards the end of this video. Tentatively, the sections will be broken up according to last name, um, and there will be two groups, so group A and group B. Uh, your group assignments, your exact group assignments will be posted on uh, your lab Carmen page, which you, you will be given access to in the next couple of days. Uh, tentatively, we're going to break the sections uh, by last names A through L, um, and last names M through Z. However, uh, this does not split every section evenly. Uh, so again, please refer to your group assignment on Carmen um, and follow that group schedule. Uh, so group A will come to campus for in-person labs weeks four, six, eight, and 10. Uh, group B will come to campus weeks five, seven, nine, and 11. Um, and weeks that you are not in person, uh, you will complete a virtual lab through Carmen. On your Carmen page, uh, you will have two TAs. You will have an in-person TA um, who will be running the in-person uh, portion of this course, and you will have a virtual TA who will be handling the virtual portion of the course. So if you have questions regarding um, any in-person labs, please direct those towards your in-person TA. Um, and if you have any questions regarding the virtual labs, please direct those towards your virtual TA. Uh, all students will complete virtual labs during weeks two, 13, and 15, regardless of group. Please bring a laptop or tablet to all in-person labs. Um, all in-person labs will involve hands-on activities like handling geological samples, using toolkits, looking at maps, etc. However, you will record um, your answers to the labs on Carmen. If you do not have access to a laptop or tablet, uh, please let your TA know as soon as possible uh, to discuss alternative options. Again, to maintain proper social distancing for every in-person lab, uh, you may only attend the in-person labs when your group is scheduled to do so. So if you were in group A, you may only attend labs during when your group is scheduled to do so. So please, if you were in group A, do not show up to labs when group B is scheduled to be there and vice versa. Uh, most of our sections are close to comp full capacity. Uh, so, so if you show are assigned to group A and you show up to group B's lab, um, you will not be allowed entrance uh, because even the addition of uh, one person uh, will make social distancing uh, not feasible. Okay, so obviously the COVID-9 safety protocols are extremely important for this semester, uh, for your safety, uh, for the TA safety, and for your fellow students' safety. So you will be required to follow all safety guidelines listed on this syllabus. Uh, these are outlined on page five, and you will also be expected to follow any additional guidelines communicated to you by your TA and or myself. Um, if you refuse to comply with any or any of the safety guidelines mentioned here or by your TA, uh, your grade will suffer and you will be reported. Failure, failure to follow safety guidelines, like if you show up uh, to lab without a mask, um, will result in your removal. Well, if you show up to lab without a mask and refuse to wear a mask, you're, uh, you will be removed from the lab and you will receive a zero for this lab. 
Uh, this zero will not be dropped from your final grade. I'll get to the grading in a minute, but uh, you have two dropped labs. Um, so your lowest lab grades will be dropped. However, uh, this zero, a zero for fit, for not following safety procedures will not be will not be one of those dropped drops. It will be factored into your final grade. If you fail to adhere to any of the safety guidelines a second time, you will again uh, be removed from the lab. Only this time you will automatically receive a failing grade for the course. So please do not do this. Again, these safety protocols are for your safety, for your fellow students' safety, and for the TA safety. If you are sick, do not come to lab, uh, period. We are not grading for attendance this semester, so there is no excuse uh, for coming to lab if you were sick or do not receive clearance for compass.osu.edu. Um, if you wake up in the morning with a fever or you don't receive clearance to come to campus, uh, please contact uh, one of the TAs listed on your Carmen page as soon as possible, and they will be able to give you access to a virtual version of the appropriate lab. You will have 24 hours from the start of your in-person lab time to complete the virtual lab with no penalty. However, I understand that there may be extenuating circumstances this semester. Um, so if you find yourself in a weird situation, again, just please reach out to your TAs um, and they will help you figure out a plan moving forward. Um, if you're unsure whether or not you should come to lab on a given week or in a given situation, uh, please refer to the syllabus or re refer to the flowchart on page six. Um, so this is the flowchart on page six is just a visual representation of the information that I've already covered. Uh, we are offering a 100% virtual option for labs. Um, if you are currently enrolled in the hybrid option, um, but you would like, but you have a good reason for uh, wanting to enroll in the 100% virtual option, uh, we ask that you request this by no later than this coming so, uh, Sunday, August 30th. So this pertains to students who fall in the high risk category per the CDC. Um, or if you are unable to return to campus for any other reason, like a travel re uh, restriction. So if you would like to request this option, uh, please send an email to myself and uh, your professor on the same email. And your request, please provide your reason for requesting the 100% virtual option and include your full name, um, your current lab date and time, and your lab section number. Uh, this will just help us be able to um, identify you more quickly um, and make this transition as smooth as possible. Uh, so if you are in the hybrid um, course throughout the semester, but you know halfway through the semester, uh, you find that you are no, able, no longer able to uh, intend, attend the in-person labs, um, you know, say you have to return home and you can't return to campus, that's okay. Um, this deadline is more just so that we know how many virtual students we have and also the virtual option follows a slightly different schedule uh, than the hybrid option. So if you're in the hybrid option and halfway through the semester, you need to switch to 100% virtual, um, we can still do that. You just need to communicate that uh, with your TA. You'll stay on the same Carmen page. They will just give you uh, virtual versions of the in-person labs that you are no longer able to attend. So the grading of this course, um, each weekly lab assignment will be weighted equally. Your two lowest lab assignment grades will be dropped from your final lab grade at the end of the semester. Again, um, if you refuse to follow any of the safety guidelines and you receive a zero for a lab, that will not be dropped. Uh, so that will not be one of these two drops. That, that zero will be factored into your final grade. These two lowest lab assignments are labs that either um, you show up, you complete, and say you don't do as well as you uh, wanted to, then that will be dropped from your final grade. Um, In-person labs will be completed and turned in at the end of the lab period, unless otherwise specified by your TA. 
Um, all virtual labs will be released Sunday of the week that they are scheduled and do no later than 5 p.m. on the following Friday. Uh, so please start early on these virtual labs. Um, and if you email uh, the virtual TA, you know, on Friday at 4 p.m., do not expect a response before the lab is due. Similarly, if you um, email your virtual TA after a virtual lab is due, do not expect an extension on the lab. Um, you're expected to start these early and reach out to your uh, TAs early with any questions. In general, no makeup labs will be scheduled and no extensions will be given for virtual labs. So uh, late virtual assignments will not be accepted. Um, so again, if you are running into any issues, please reach out to your TAs ASAP. However, again, I understand that this is a, an unusual semester. Um, so in cases of ex extraordinary uh, circumstances, uh, we are willing to make accommodations. You just, on a case-by-case -case basis, uh, you just need to com communicate these to us as clearly um, and as soon as possible. Uh, and then we can work with you to come up with a plan. Accommodations for students with disabilities. Um, if you fall into this category, uh, please reach out to your lab TAs as soon as possible. Uh, to make them aware of any accommodations uh, that you may need. Uh, we are obviously willing to make these accommodations, but we can only make them uh, from the date that we are made aware. Moving forward, we cannot make retroactive accommodations. Uh, so correspondence with your TAs, uh, your section TA and virtual TA, uh, not myself, should be your first point of contact for everything lab related. However, each TA has two to four sections totaling to 60 to 100 students, in other words, a lot. Uh, so to make your communication as efficient as possible and all email correspondences with your uh, TAs, please include your course number and lab section number along with uh, your lab day and time. Uh, this will just help them know exactly what Carmen page to go with, um, to go log on to, um, and that will be a huge help and will greatly speed up uh, communications and help resolve issues um, as promptly as possible. Please only email your TAs regarding lab questions. Um, if you have questions regarding the lecture portion of this course, these should be directed to your lecturer. Um, so what is expected of you? In short, do not show up to, per, uh, to your in-person lab if you are sick or do not receive clearance from compass.osu.edu. Um, again, we're not grading for attendance, so there is absolutely no excuse for showing up if you're sick. Uh, follow all safety protocols listed here or by your TA. Again, failure to follow these um, will negatively impact your grade and could lead to you uh, failing the course. So please, you're taking these very seriously, um, and you should as well. Clear and timely communication. Um, these are trying times and we can make reasonable accommodations on a case-by-case -case basis. However, we need you to communicate any issues or unusual circumstances as clearly as possible and as soon as possible um, because again, we can't make retroactive accommodations. Basically, in short, follow all safety measures and communicate any issues in a timely manner, not after the fact. Um, if you have questions regarding a lab, please attend the appropriate TA's office hours. Start the labs early. If you wait until the last minute to bring up an issue to a TA, do not expect a response before the lab is due. Uh, similarly, if you email a TA after a lab is due, do not expect an extension. The content in the syllabus is now your responsibility. Uh, you will be held accountable for all the material in this document. Um, you, will be quiz you will have a syllabus quiz and uh, you'll be quizzed on the safety guidelines outlined here uh, during the first lab next week. So just to touch on the lab syllabus a little bit, or sorry, the lab schedule a little bit more. Um, as you already know, there are no labs this week. Next week uh, will be a virtual scientific method um, and also a syllabus quiz and safety quiz. Uh, the third week, there will be no labs. So in-person labs will start week four if you're in group A. Uh, you will come to your, you will report to your uh, in-person lab 
and to complete a minerals lab. If you're in group B, uh, you will again do another virtual lab and instead you will come week five for your first in-person lab. Um, and then on page five, we have uh, the lab safety protocols. Please take some time to familiarize yourself with these. Uh, you expect it to be expected to adhere to all of these and any additional guidelines set forward by your in-person TA. Um, and with that, uh, thank you for listening. Um, I look forward to working with all of you this semester. Um, I hope that you enjoy the course and I hope that you learn a thing or two about uh, earth sciences. Uh, thank you all.